Okay, this is 2018, Unit 5, Physics Question 2. Paper is attached below in the info section, or you can pause the video, give the questions a go. But I'm about to go through the answers. So, water flows along a pipe. Which factor will affect the viscosity of the water in the pipe? This is the one that's going to break those intermolecular forces a little bit. And that's the temperature is going to change it. Now we've got to do the water in the pipe is moving a streamlined flow, complete paragraph one to give a definition of streamlined flow, flow using this diagram. So there is a steady flow of water in the pipe and that something of water do not mix. Now it's talking about the different layers. So if we've got a steady streamline, we'll have these layers of water all traveling in the same direction. And those layers do not mix. The velocity of the water at points A and B, so this is the same kind of streamline layer, and everything will be moving at exactly the same speed. So it's the same in those different, in the same layer, they travel at different speeds. Sorry, at the same layer, they'll travel at the same speed. If we have different layers, we might start to see different speeds. And in fact, the next question is that the velocity of the water is greatest at point, and that'll be the central point. The velocity will be greater. And as you get closer to the edge, it gets slower and slower. So the velocity of the water is greatest at point two. And that was three marks. Explain the effect of the water pressure as the pipe narrows. So as the pipe narrows, the water or flow we're going to use, or the rate of water movement or rate of velocity, uh, anything to describe the speed of it, you just say it goes faster water flow increases if we narrow the pipe. That reduces the pressure, or pressure decreases. So along those lines. Okay, and then finally we've got our non-Newtonian fluid. So uh, normally it's liquid, but if you jump on it, it suddenly turns into a solid. So that's what we need to point out, that it oobleck becomes thicker if you jump on it. This is because if you apply a stress on it, so sudden stress or force, uh, if we apply that, so sudden stress force is applied, then oobleck becomes thicker. Uh, oobleck becomes more resistant. And that's what we see in this thickening up above. 